What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Disparity here. I'm here to bring you guys another uh, match of me playing Japan. As you guys know, I've been in Japan for like the past, like, since release for the most part. So I've just been learning a lot about them and learning uh, a lot of what they can do. In terms of the capabilities, you know, learning more about their build orders, whether I want to go 2TC or, or uh, Fast Castle. Fast Castle seems to be pretty good, but 2TC, if I feel like if I'm going against English or somebody, um, usually, yeah, it's usually if I go against English, I usually go, fa go to fa do fa uh, what do you call it? 2TC for the most part. It, it, again, just depends, it just depends how I feel. So, anywho, this build order is going to be a little bit different. So, I end up, I was thinking in my head, you know, it's like, okay. Uh, apparently, a lot of people have been having issues going against Japan. Uh, I'm sorry, English as Japan. And I've been winning a lot of my matches as, um, what do you call, as Japan. Now, if I lose, it's on me. I made a mistake somewhere in my build order, you know, so it's on me. So, I end up going ahead and mounting my stone here. I do, you know, no more Japanese, three on food, three on stone. Now, this guy does something a little bit different here. Um, what he does here, I'm going to put it on fog work because I don't want you guys to see, like, on what he does or whatnot. And luckily, I caught this early because, you know, most not normal people would have probably ended up quitting and, you know, going, uh, not, you know, basically just quitting. Yeah, just quitting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to make, I don't know why I'm making it so technical. So, luckily, I caught this. So, he ends up scouting me first, right? And I was like, okay. So, I guess he, he, he knows that, hey, Make sure to, you know, mine the gold or whatever, or, you know, stop, you know, Japanese from getting gold or just stop really anybody from getting gold. So he ends up tower rushing me, right? I was like, really? Because I've been getting a lot of this lately in lower elo, been getting tower rushed by a lot of folks here. So we're going to fast forward just a little bit here. So I end up seeing this, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get my scout here. Scout has some pretty good, decent torch damage. So I'm just, you know, doing this here, right? So he ends up, I use up, but I call my build, my food villagers here. To go like just be like okay distract him i don't know like, i just did something here right? i was like okay this guy let's play this game i'm gonna play this game fuck it <laughs> it is what it is right so i'm gonna you know, try to cut his scout a scout's one of the most important early game units so he gets a villager mine and as you guys see here my village went down from 12 to 11 and he still has nine and so he ends up trying it again i was like this guy really wasting all this villager timing just to do this here i'm like you're insane right so he ends up trying it again i was like dude are you serious right now like, what are you trying to do right now? So what I ended up doing is I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to stop getting food. I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and build a tower myself, right? So I end up getting these four villagers here. End up getting those four and start building, or those, those three or four, start building a tower that chase them off, right? I was like, whatever. So any new villagers I get, I go ahead and make sure to keep mining and going for food. So now I go ahead and get this tower up. You know, once he sees this, he tries this again. So he like, wastes these three villagers. Mind you, he's not paying attention to his own game because he's barely not making any villagers, which I'm not understanding what he's doing. So I saw that uh, this villager's in my sight. Kill that one. I was like, okay, cool. So I wanted to see like where he's going to, right? And so I see that he's over here. I was like, okay, that's fine. I mean, whatever, right? Go ahead, you do you. So then I see that villager over here with the corner of my eye. You know, just looking for him. And then I was like, huh. I end up checking it out, and he's doing it again. I was like, you are so adamant on doing this. That's insane. And so I end up getting these four villagers here in order to um, go ahead, just rebuild and rewall up here. Now, I also got my scout to go look for go look for some goats or sheep or whatever, because you know what? Might as well, right? So I end up using my two villagers to attack his villagers here. And as you guys see, look at the villager count there. Eight, I have, he has eight villagers. I have, I have 20, so I'm already winning this. So again, I was going to go to TC, but of course, because he was doing this i had to diverge into a different build now again from an, if a normal person would probably quit no i'm not gonna lie i would probably quit you know back old me would have quit like two seasons ago me i would have quit but i was like no i'm not gonna let this guy beat me like this because I, I i'm tired of like i don't know for me guys recently when going against english i just get so bored fighting english because it's the same it's the same like you know gotta wait gotta go do this they'll do you no know, get the h2 council hall this down the third i'm just like wow this is just boring so while uh, this is going on here, he starts sitting over out longbows. You know, starts he starts stacking them up here, and I start to see this with my tower. I was like, okay, okay, guy, my guy. Luckily, he wasn't smart enough. He just brought them over here. I said, okay, I'm gonna lose a villager or two here, but I said, let me go ahead and do this here. Get him in here. So then I get another ta my other tower here, and so now he's he's blocked off. So good for me for going for sheeping up, by the way, because I have sheep to worry uh, to gather food on, so I can not get on my my berries right now. So I said, okay. So I walked up there. He, there's no way that he can, you know, bring another, um, 
bring any of our longbows over. So, you know, it's all good, right? We're, all, we're good. So then I realized I forgot um, I had put so much on food, so I had 20... I mean, on food, I had like nine on, nine on food right now. Eventually, I put like, I think like 20. A good amount of food, honestly. Because now I'm just like, I'm trying to figure out how I can like kill this guy here. And I got one of those there. Got two of them. Boom. So now I'm trying to bait him. At least I tried to bait him. But I kind of screwed. I kind of messed up a little bit there. But it's fine. So now what he ends up doing is that he ends up going around here and trying to do like, you know, again, similar, similar strat here. Now, what I messed up on here is that I have my rally point set up here. And I thought I declicked my rally point. I was waiting to see what he was going to do. So I, as you see, I see here, I will start to rally my wood over there. And so I was waiting. I was like, I was just waiting. I was trying to get up to 100 wood at this time. Trying to be like, okay, I know he's going to do. I'm waiting for him to pop up. You know, I'm not trying to get my villagers on the uh, farms just yet because he's there, you know. And so then um, I go ahead. I was like, well, he's not attacking yet. So let me go ahead and gather from the farms here. Now might as well, right? And so when I see this him attacking me, I start to micro my units or uh, macro my units away. And uh, I was like, fuck, dude, I'm missing, I'm missing my macro here. So I was like, okay, that's fine. Whatever, right? So I end up, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and just shift these guys up here for now, right? Let that happen. It's fine. Whatever, right? So I end up going ahead. I get my first unit. I get my first stable. I get, I'm getting a, stable, uh, a horseman and a bannerman out. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and do this here. So I see here, my towers are already, you know, doing the work. So he's already wasting resources. And once again, he has 16 villagers at this point. I have 33, so I'm still very much far ahead. So I put everyone, for the most part, on food. And then I said, okay, you know, since we're done here, let me go ahead and re uh, put my wood guys back on the wood so I can go ahead and gather as much wood as I can in order to make these production buildings. And, you know, I have to transition them over to make, start making some military bases. So now I'm at, this is basically a peaceful time. I have a couple units on gold here doing the gold collection. It's quite nice. I pop myself and I was like, I hate when I population myself. I usually try not to, but you no, know, things like this happen, right? So now I was like, okay, so, so that, that doesn't happen again. So let me go ahead and just start building my army here. And I didn't, eventually I start to make a barracks. You know, as Japanese, you know, the one thing that you want to try to do is, uh, is attack the wooden line. So I tried to stick out where his, where his wooden line was, right? Now this, I messed up on because I thought I, I really screwed up here. So I got my scout out, but then he was still able to get me. So I wanted to scout where his wood line was, but his wood line was over here, which is smart. I'll give him that. That was very smart to put his wood line over there. So I couldn't attack his wood line at all to slow him down. I said, okay, that's fine. That's very much fine. And then my dumb self forgot that I actually did not tag or shift click my scout to come back to the base. I shift clicked him to stop like right here. So he was there for the entire time. Now, normally, of course, you know, as you guys know, you got to keep constantly scouting. So that was on me. So I brought my horse back. I was like, I'm not going to waste resources. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and spend this time. Build up my farms and do what I need to do. So he ends up attacking my scout there. And I tried to build up here. And I... I was so sad that he caught me here. It's like, dang, dude, he got me. Then he, of course, as a normal English player, you know, they start to do what? They're like bots. They start to build, you know, rams and stuff. Well, you can't get what you're going to get. So, you know, got to build rams, right? That's okay. That's pretty fine. Link out. Every uh, time this a unit pops out here, a samurai, I pop out another samurai and I pop out an onabagasha as well. While also, again, just saving up, trying to hurry up and fast castle as much as fast as I can. So whatever villagers that pop out here, so I was finally able to get my second TC out 14 minutes in. Again, I had to diverge the build order. <laughs> I usually get this out like once I age up, but you know, I, things happen, right? So I think, uh, yeah, let's get the second TC up. I uh, just use the second TC to pump out, uh, they'll just put them on food, directly on food. Because you know, I don't want to, uh, I'm just trying to make sure to castle up as quickly as possible. So they start to attack the wall. I was like, okay, well, I was a little army there, so I was like, okay, let me, let me, uh, break, no, scout him out. And he ran it off, so I was like, okay, cool. That's, that's cool. I like that, you know. It's getting off a little bit. Now, you know, I'm just collecting as much wood as I can. As you guys see, I have 15 on wood, 25 on, uh, 25 wood, 15 on food. So, as you guys be like, oh, disparity, that's a lot on wood, dude. Of course, I, that is a lot on wood. I will definitely agree. That's for me to get my farms as quickly as possible. Because he can't attack my wood line right now. He doesn't, you know, and that's, that's fine. Usually at this point, I would have at least 20 to 30 on villagers on food. Usually though, that's usually the case. And so, but now I have eight on, I have eight on gold, which is plenty, which is plenty on gold. I have the first uh, acid, dis I have the first upgrade of acid distillation, by the way. So keep that in mind. And now the berries are done. So I was like, okay, well it's time for us. So one thing I started to really incorporate is that I know that people stated that Yumi actually, Yumi's are terrible as archers, you know, as a guru. So I was like, you know what though? I want to start incorporating them into my army, like 
I get that most people do the fast castle, but it's like if I incorporate these guys into my army, it'll be a lot better, you know? So I end up going ahead and attacking, right? Now, I don't think that was, I think it was an okay play for him to go ahead and, you know, use his spearmen to attack my horsemen. But at the same time, though, I, I don't think it was a great play. Because as you guys see there, you know, he, he has an army, but it's not really the greatest army. I don't know what this, what this guy think. I think he wanted to kill me, take me out in the first, like, five minutes or something like that. I don't know. But I was like, you know, okay, that's too greedy of me. I'm not going to chase too much. And I didn't get this character. So, Samurai, so, you know, he dies a good death, but, you know, he dies for this adventure, you know, honor-wise, yeah. So now, another thing I started to do, too, I started to, like, really learn is, like, it's like, okay, I need to start using my food villagers to start helping me build my, uh, don't take my, my units off gold or the wood line too much, but take off the food line. Especially if I have plenty and get that food built. So as you guys see, he started to attack me a little bit. I was like, okay, let me keep running. He got my bannerman. So I said, okay, that's fine. You can get the bannerman. So I have one, only one bannerman left. That's me, my Yumi Ashgar bannerman. So eventually I was like, uh, this is taking forever. And so I get these villagers here and I put them on and I shift click them back to farms after this. So then I start to say, okay, let me go ahead and start building uh, the stone wall here, getting that up as quickly as possible. So then age up. So as you guys see, it's already GG. It's a game. I think it was game at the 17 minute mark because he doesn't have the economy in order to keep up with me whatsoever. There's no way he's going to keep up with the kind of economy that he that this person has. And so now this is, this is a good you know, little farming sim here. A good farming sim. <laughs> so I said, okay, now another thing I start to really incorporate too is like I start to think in my mind now that I got to start making Mogados and more siege equipment more adequately. And I start to really bring them up, and then I working on back uh, micro them into my army a lot better, you know, to keep them. So like, I started putting my spearmen onto uh, the siege equipment, or actually really just grouping my spearmen and the um, Malgon Nails together. So the spearmen are basically the backup, you know, if I feel like um, his cavalry's been wiped. So this really learning the unit counters is the key for me in like these recent matches, because so, you know that's all I'm losing. It's like I'm not doing. I'm doing worse than my opponent. My, even though my opponent could be worse than me, I'm doing worse than them. So that's something that I have to, I have to take in, you know, into account. So he gets the castle age, right? So I was like, okay. Normally, of course, English player, they're going to go with the white castle, if I recall. I was like, okay, you know, eventually I was like, let me go test to see on where his uh, base is, right? Well, that's what, I, that's what I end up doing. I'm like, okay, because I could have started attacking with um, with the uh, Mountain Samurai. I could start. I could have started doing that way earlier. But, you know, I want to see what's, what's going to happen. I like to play out games a little bit later than usual. So my mistake here was getting his uh, what do you call it? his scout? I didn't get a scout. So then I saw, saw that he has the white the white castle. Here. I was like, okay, that's fine. You know why? Because I end up, I got my siege I got my siege out. Now I'm thinking for trebuchets. Got my mongonels out. You know stuff like so. You know it's just preparing. You know just knowing and knowing when to go in and preparing. So now my food economy is straight up amazing. I end up start to wall out here all out here. If you guys haven't seen on the mini map, I start to do all this walling here. In order to prepare and um start getting you know a lot of people in lower elo don't get relics relics are important y'all don't why don't know why they think relics are an afterthought i think because they, they like to save it for siege equipment first so i ended up seeing what it, i want to see what his army was right and i said okay let me back you guys up again I like i got you i'm gonna back up you can hide behind the tower all you want to that's that's perfect fine i mean every english player does i mean i mean it's a good it's a good tower i like to use mine depending on the, it all depends on the map I think these are offensively or a little bit defensively. It just, again, it depends on map. Like if the map's good, like, you know, if it's like, I think it's like, what's it called? Golden, golden pits. Oh yeah. White castle up front. Boom. God light. <laughs> so then I get my treb, my, I got two trebuchets out and now it's trying to take out the white castle. Boom. Doing some damage. I usually end up, by the way, using ground to attack the ground. The reason why is that if you click on it in Fog of War, your trebuchet has the tendency to move forward, which is really dumb, in my personal opinion. Okay. So I'm just sitting here waiting, trying to see what he's going to do here. And I was like, you know what? Let me go attack this tower here. There's no vision for you, bro. So then, I guess he's trying to play the defensive game, because I started to push. I said, screw it. We're going to push up, right? I have the advantage here. So he has a manga out. He has... A uh, what you call it here? A spring ball. So a lot of my samurai are dying, but you know it's fine. They're upgraded. It's okay. We're, we're doing okay. So he tried to shoot for my uh, Magadel, which it hit once, and now he's using his villagers in order to try to recover. Boom! 
got the White Castle down. So then now, I was like, okay, I gotta get this Mogado now. Go ahead, target this Mogado. So at this point, as you guys see, look at the army count here. Army count, 1047, it's, it's already game. And keep in mind, I looked up this guy's stats while he mains English. This is the only faction he plays. So I'm like, dude, what are you doing? I don't understand. Like, what is your purpose, my guy? And then that's the end of the match. So I did ask him, said, didn't this, this is the second time, like, four days I, I beat you? And he's like, no. And I was like, oh, I had to look it up myself. And yeah. But uh, anywho, though, if you guys enjoyed this match of uh, me playing some Agent Empires 4 as Japan, you know, just consider liking and subscribing, y'all. I know that I'm a lower elo. I might not be the pro of the game here, but, you know, I like to show, showcase my matches to kind of watch them later on, see, like, on what I can improve on. Um, definitely consider subscribing if you guys want to become a Patreon or a channel member. That will definitely support my channel a lot further down the line. But uh, as always, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for your support. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Much love. Have a good one, y'all. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also hit the bell notification down below. Thanks for watching.